As the sun dipped low in the sky, casting a golden hue over the quaint village of Petal Grove, Ivy Bloom found herself stepping into the greenhouse, a veritable labyrinth of flora. The air was thick with the scent of damp earth and blooming flowers, each petal whispering secrets of its own. Ivy, a determined amateur sleuth, adjusted her floral apron, her heart racing with anticipation. She was here to uncover the truth behind the murder of the renowned botanist, Dr. Harold Green. The greenhouse, with its vibrant petals and tangled vines, seemed to hold the answers she sought. It was a place where life thrived, yet death had cast its shadow. Ivy's mind was a whirl of questions as she prepared to delve into the mystery that lay before her. Inside the greenhouse, Ivy approached Rosemary Thorne, the tall and elegant rival florist. Rosemary's sharp features were partially shadowed by the leaves overhead, her dark attire a stark contrast to the colorful blooms surrounding her. The tension in the air was palpable as Ivy began her line of questioning. I need to ask you a few questions about Dr. Green, Ivy said, her voice steady despite the crackling tension. Rosemary's response was defensive, her eyes narrowing as she replied, Why would I know anything? He was just a competitor. Ivy noted the slight tremor in Rosemary's hands as she fiddled with a wilted orchid, a possible sign of fear or guilt. The interview was a delicate dance, each question a step closer to the truth. As the interview progressed, Ivy's mind raced through the details of the case. Dr. Green had been known for his controversial experiments with hybrid plants, a fact that could have ruffled more than a few feathers in the tight-knit community. She recalled the handkerchief found at the scene, embroidered with a distinctive floral pattern, a potential clue in the tangled web of rivalries and secrets. What do you know about his research? Ivy pressed, watching Rosemary's reaction closely. The rival florist's lips tightened, and Ivy sensed the walls closing in. He was reckless, dangerous even. But that's none of my concern now, Rosemary replied, her voice a mere whisper. As Ivy left the greenhouse, the sun dipped lower, shadows lengthening as she pondered the complexities of the case. The weight of Rosemary's words lingered in the air, a reminder of the secrets yet to be uncovered.